Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Get Try Tips and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix the Valorant is completely stuck on loading screen and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into the step one by one. So the first step is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the Valorant on your desktop. Right click over here and go to show more options, go to the properties, go to compatibility and right now you can see there are two options disable full screen optimization and we have run this program as an administrator. You have to click on both and once you click on both you have to go for apply and you have to go for ok. Once afterwards you have to check with the game, try launch the game and still if it's not working we have to move to the next one. Next one, there are many reasons why the Valorant is getting stuck on the loading screen. And one among the reason is your graphics card should be updated. So what I'll do is I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. So the NVIDIA users can update your link from here as well as to the AMD users can update the link from here. So the NVIDIA users just go to this particular page which I'll be providing in the video description. Just go over here in the GeoForce, select everything like if the product series is GeoForce 15 series. And we have to go over here in the 5090 and windows 11 over here and we have to go for the start search and right now as you can see that will be taking you to this particular version from here you have to click on get download that will take you to another page where you will be getting details like this so the drive version is 572.70 and we just around size of 845.404 mp so you have to download this one and if you're on the amd to the users on the amd i'll be providing the link as well you have to randomly or you have to set whatever your pc's configuration and based on the configuration that will take you to this and if the system is based on windows 11 you have to download this one and if the system is based on windows 10 you have to download this one once these two things are downloaded you have to check with your game because sometimes you know if the graphics cards are updated you'll be having the issue with the stuck loaded screen still if you're having trouble we need to move to the next step next step is all about we have to go over here search for the run command like this and you have to click on this one or you have to press the shortcut from the keyboard that you have to press windows and r that will take you to this particular box now you have to type percentage local app data percentage and you have to go for ok and right now what we need to do is we just need to scroll down and you can see there is an option called valorant or the folder called valorant right click and you have to go to the trash icon and similarly what we need to do is you just need to go over here at the top on the right games if you're able to find the right games just go over here in the right games and also what we need to do is you just need to go over here in the valorant and also you have to delete it as well just delete it once it is successfully deleted you have to go back and check with the issue or not still if there is an issue we need to do just go over here in the file explorer now we need to go to this pc go to local disk c now from here you have to go to the program files and whether you have to check whether you are able to find the right game so right now we don't have the right games here so we just need to go back go to the program files over here and still you have to check whether you're able to find it so most probably if it will be here itself just click on the right games here and right now in the right games what you need to do is you just need to what you need to just get, get into this one and you can see you just need to delete the respective folder from here and that's all you have to do sometimes you know after deleting the respective folder in most cases the issue might be fixed up or you can directly go over here and also you can find it as well so if you don't find it here in the right wine card apart from the right games over here you can delete the folder as well so if you're finding the right games here itself just delete the respective folder as well once you delete the respective folder, keep in mind one more step is there. Just go over here, press on the Windows and R key altogether so you'll be getting the run command or you can directly go over here, search for the run command once again. Now we have to click on this one that will take you to this and just go for OK. Now from here what we need to do is just keep scrolling down and navigate to the right games. You'll be having a folder called Valorant here once again. There is a folder called Live. So just click on this one and go for Delete it. Once the folder is deleted, you have to check with the issue is solved or not. Still, there might be an issue. So what you need to do is just go over here. We just need to go over here once again, search for run, and you have to click on this one. And this time, instead of as percentage local app data, you have to type ncpa.cpl. Just type this one, and you have to click on this one. And right now, as you can see, you'll be getting these options. And right now, I'm connected to this particular Wi-Fi. So right click over here, go to the properties that will take you to this. And I have to click on Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, IVV4, and double click on this one. Go over here and give the value for the preferred DNS server and the alternate DNS server. So the preferred DNS server should be always 8888 8, 8, 8, and the alternate server should be 884 8, 4, and 4. Once you give this respective value, you have to set it up and you have to check and still there might be an issue. In some cases, if that is the case, just go over here, search for CMD and we have to click it those run as an administrator, go for yes. And right now, what you need to do is just need to type SC space delete, you have to type delete 
and you have to type VGK and you have to press enter. Now it is successfully done. Similarly, you have to type SC delete and you have to type VGC. You have to type VGC and press enter. So most probably these students should be getting a message like delete service success, delete service success, which means you're fine with that. Last and the least step, we have to try a few more steps. Still, if there is an issue afterwards, running the commands in the launch option over here in the CMD should be doing a restart on your system. So just go over here, do a restart. Once a restart is done, you have to check. But still, if you're having the trouble or any to this, you just need to follow this instruction. That is all about you have to go over here in the file explorer, go to the local disk, go to the local disk C. Now you have to get into the program files and you can see there is a folder called Ryan Point Guard. So right click on this over here and you have to go to the trash icon and delete it as well. Once it is successfully deleted, you have to check. And the last and the least apart from all these things, you have updated the graphics card. Everything should be done and you have to check whether the Valorant is not up to date or not. So if you're having any kind of pending updates on the Valorant, just make sure you update the Valorant as well. So these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful. See you soon next video. Bye.